MLB. Rachel, they have no positive drug tests. How can MLB hand down such serious penalties without that? Well, this is why what's happened this week is so important. You have this clinic that has already been proven to be handing out steroids to baseball players, and now the founder of the clinic has said that he is willing to come in to Major League Baseball, fully cooperate, and start naming names. And baseball certainly hopes that he will also bring with him some physical evidence, because just a he said, he said isn't going to cut it here. These players will, of course, appeal these suspensions. So they're going to need phone records, things that prove that guys who've said, hey, I never knew this clinic, I never had any contact. Well, if there are text messages from those players, if there are phone records, plane tickets, things that link them, then certainly baseball will have a very good case on its hands. So this is a great development for them, even though there's no positive test. And it's so important not just for baseball fans who don't want to feel that once again this game is being rigged at the highest levels, but really just for sports fans everywhere and for parents. I mean, people who are dragging their kids around all week to soccer practice and swim meets, they don't want to feel when they're dropping their children off at Little League that you saw the Lance Armstrong scandal and then you see this and your kids feel all of a sudden if they want a college scholarship, if they want to compete in the pros, they have to start doing drugs that are going to harm their body. People are sick of this, whether they're baseball fans or not. Rachel, we've already been hearing a lot of grumbling about Alex Rodriguez for a little while. Could this theoretically... Lar largely on this show, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just a, an anti-Yankee bias, I have to say. But, but could this theoretically be the end of A-Rod in Yankee pinstripes if there is evidence, if these charges are credible? Well, here's the catch. Penalties for drug uh, use and, and PED suspensions, those are collectively bargained. So a team cannot put in a contract, hey, if you use performance-enhancing drugs, we can cut you, we can void the contract, because this is collectively bargained between the Players Association and the league. And the penalties are the penalties, 50 games, 100 games, three strikes and you're out. So they can't do anything more than what the collective bargaining agreement says. So he could serve his 50, 100 games if MLB is able to prove his case, then come right back and his Yankee contract is completely valid. The only loophole here is, hey, maybe if he does have this great embarrassment and he's suspended for 100 games, he's having hip problems, maybe the Yankees come to him and say, you know, hey, let's just all cut our losses here. And, and you say that you're retiring because of your health. We try to collect the insurance. But they can't get him on drugs because this is a collective bargaining issue. All right, Rachel Nichols, thank you so much. You keep getting these assignments. And